The intravaginal ejaculatory latency time is the time it takes to ejaculate during vaginal penetration. This figure is typically six minutes for the average male and decreases with age. However, for men with premature ejaculation, this time is consistently less than a minute, leading to distress and hurtful nicknames such as the world's fastest man. But thankfully, there is hope. How's everyone doing? It's Isaac Wade, doctor of pharmacy, and in this video, we'll be discussing the most effective drugs for treating premature ejaculation. These include antidepressants like Paxil and Celexa, and PD-5 inhibitors such as Viagra and Cialis. As a general disclaimer, these drugs are being used off-label, which means that they are not officially approved for treating premature ejaculation. However, there is good evidence for a number of them, which we'll get right into. So first of all, let's talk about antidepressants. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, also called SSRIs, are the most common class of antidepressant. These drugs work by increasing the action of the brain chemical serotonin, which is believed to play an important role in prolonging the time to ejaculation. As I've mentioned in previous videos, we can only know that a treatment is effective by examining outcomes from scientific studies, also known as scientific evidence. There is a hierarchy of evidence, however, with something like expert opinion being on the bottom and systematic reviews being at the top. So in this video, let's take a look at some systematic reviews. The first one was a Cochrane study that found that antidepressants were able to prolong the intravaginal ejaculatory latency time by 3.09 minutes, with paroxetine being the most effective at 6.51 minutes and citalopram also being very effective at 4.85 minutes. The study also found that antidepressants decreased self-perceived symptoms of premature ejaculation, increased satisfaction with sex, and increased perceived control over ejaculation. As expected, however, the study also found that antidepressants could sometimes cause side effects leading to discontinuation. For SSRIs, these typically include erectile dysfunction, decreased libido, weight gain, and drowsiness. Side effects can potentially be reduced by taking antidepressants on demand a few hours before sex. However, on-demand use is generally considered to be less effective than daily use. And to get the best effects from SSRIs, you generally want to take them every day and wait a couple weeks for the effects to kick in. Let's talk now about PD-5 inhibitors. These include drugs like Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, which are typically used for treating erectile dysfunction. PD-5 inhibitors work by prolonging the effects of nitric oxide, leading to smooth muscle relaxation, increased blood flow to the penis, and consequently improved erections. However, the mechanism by which these drugs work in erectile dysfunction is not completely understood. Based on a systematic review by Sun and colleagues, it seems that PD-5 inhibitors are more effective than placebo and could possibly even be more effective than SSRIs when it comes to treating premature ejaculation. Interestingly, it also seems that combining a PD-5 inhibitor with an SSRI is more effective than either treatment on its own. In terms of side effects, it seems that both SSRIs and PD-5 inhibitors cause an equal amount of side effects but when combined, these agents can cause even more side effects. Side effects caused by PD-5 inhibitors typically include headache, flushing, and nasal congestion. Now, the benefits of PD-5 inhibitors versus an SSRI is that you take PD-5 inhibitors on demand rather than SSRIs, which are meant to be taken every day. In addition, PD-5 inhibitors can also be used for treating erectile dysfunction, whereas SSRIs can sometimes cause erectile dysfunction. Now, the downside to PD-5 inhibitors is that they are very expensive and are generally not covered by insurance versus antidepressants, which are cheap and are mostly covered by insurance. So anyways, that's all I have to talk to you about today. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope this video gives hope to the one minute man and helps him to become uh, maybe a four, five, or even six minute man. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.